before the beginning of any grinding run i clean the surface of the mirror with an old rag which i have been using for that particular grade of uh, silicon carbide you need to throw the rags after uh, each grade obviously to avoid contamination and scratches i'm applying the 600 grade uh, silicon carbide onto the surface of the mirror uh, a little bit is enough uh, there are probably two large drops over there it's like a slurry after applying the uh, paste i smear it around the surface nicely and whatever is left on my finger i'll just you know tap it onto the tool surface of the tool it's like that smear it around once more and then i just remembered i forgot to switch on the motor so i have to go behind into the kitchen to switch on the mains and come back give me a second you can see you know the part contact built up by the uh, gap between the two pieces of glass the motor switched on and i'm doing uh, um one third uh, center over center strokes so which means that you know each uh, side up and down i'll be doing one sixth or something like that um i'm actually doing a little less than that so it really doesn't matter i mean when, when i check the contact of the um <coughs> the two tools and tool and the mirror um uh, i see that you know there's some excellent contact happening and uh, i rotate the tool after so after a while uh, to maintain the randomness randomness is the key to you know getting good contact or getting a good uh, spherical shape on the glass or whatever um i had actually earlier checked the focal length of the mirror itself after one of the wets uh, by focusing the sun it was nearly noon so it was a little easy um the white wall you see in the video extends all the way to the roof and this is the balcony i'm working on so the roof of the balcony is also white and uh, when i focus the sun the noon day uh, the noon sun on the ceiling um, i found out the focal length was almost like 49 inches so that's f8.1 for the 6 inch mirror um i'm very happy with that because the target was f8 and an f8.1 with the use of only feeler gauge with gauges to measure the sagitta is actually nice um i have hit the target it's f8 so i know i don't need to parabolize uh, the glass going ahead in the polishing and figuring but um i'll take a call on that at a later date i still have about uh, um half an hour worth of 600 grade uh, grinding uh, remaining after which the pit should be completely gone and after that i'll do probably an hour or hour and a half worth of 800 grade and uh, followed by 1000 and 1200 grades um, about uh, half an hour each um, once the slurry glow goes a bit dry uh, don't clean the surfaces just sprinkle a few drops of water and continue until it becomes a finer paste and uh, the sound uh, stops uh, the sound of the motor is quite a lot and uh, i was not able to hear uh, uh, the grinding but then experience you know shows that you know you can see that fine paste form and you know the grit is completely used up and it's time for a change when i change the grit i once again clean the surface of the mirror and then apply fresh grit so um, that's it and uh, thank you for watching